ವಕ್ರತುಂಡಮಸಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯ ವರದೆ ಕಾಮಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭಂ ಕರ್ಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧೈರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವಲೋಕಾಷಜೇಭವರೋಗಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಈಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ಯೋ ಮವತ್ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪದ್ಮಭುವ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಶಕ್ತಿ ತತ್ಪುತ್ರಪರಾಶರಂ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ಶುಕಂ ಗೌಡಪದ ಮಹಾಂತ ಗೋವಿಂದೀಂದ್ರಮಥಾ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಥಾ ಪದ್ಮಪಾದ ಹಸ್ತಾಮಲಕ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ತೋಟಕ ವಾರ್ತಿಕಾರಮನ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರೂನ್ ಸಂತತಮಾನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಸದಾ ಶಿವಸುಭಾರಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಸ್ವೂಪಿ ತತ್ವಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತುಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಕಥಂ ವೇದ್ಯುಚ್ಯತೆ ತನೋರ್ಗ್ರೀತೋಪನಿಷದ ಮಹಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಚರಮುಪಾಸಿತ ಸಂಧಯೀತ ಆಯ್ಭಾವಗತೆ ಚೇತಸ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಕ್ಷರ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ವಿಧಿ ಧನು ಅಸ್ಯತೆ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ಯತೆ ಅಸ್ಮತ್ ಶರ ಇ ಧನು ಚಾಪ ಧನು ಚಾಪ ಪರ್ಯಾಯ ಶಬ್ದ 
ಔಪನಿಷದಂ ಔಪನಿಷ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಭವಂ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧಂ ಕಾಶಕಾರ ಸೇಸ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಭವಂ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧಂ ಪ್ರಣವಾಖ್ಯಂ ಮಹಾಸ್ತ್ರಂ ಧನು ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಸ್ಯತೆ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ಯತೆ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಸ್ಯತೆ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ಯತೆ ಅಸ್ಮತ್ ಶರ ಧನು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಥ್ರೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ತ್ರ ಮಿಸೈಲ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಮಿಸೈಲ್ ದ ಆರೋ ಇಸ್ ಥ್ರೋನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಧನು ಕ್ಷಮಿತ therefore the word mahastram mahastram is that which is thrown that which moves from a stationary thing like the pistol is astram the bullet only moves the pistol remains in the hand of the, the shooter similarly the tanker etc so that which moves is astram but here this mahastram is given as the qualifier to dhanu upanishad subhavam prasiddham mahastram dhanu vishwasanam grihitva adaya but i feel that mahastram can be taken as adjective to sharam also possible no commentator has said but this is possible this according to me it is possible mahastram being there can qualify sharam sharam mahastram sharam sipa upasanaya nishitam possible or mahastram dhanu which is upanishad upanishadam upanishad subhavam prasiddham grihitva that is also possible can take any way so mahastram can be an adjective for either for dhanu or for shara here the commentator take it as adjective for dhanu it's all small small things but if you examine the mantra you will, so many things will come out so this upanishad so bhavam prasiddham pranavakyam mahastram mahastram mahachya tat astram mahastram dvitva avalambya tasmin sharambhanam sandhagita sandhagita visa sandhanam kurya sandhagita chandasam ಸಂದೀತ ಅಷ್ಟಿ ಸಂದನ ಕುರ್ಯ ಸಂಧಾನ ಕುರ್ಯಾತ್ ಕೀದೃಶ ಶರಂ ಕೀದೃಶ ಶರ ಉಪಾಸನೆಯ ಶಿತ ಉಪಾಸನೆಯ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣೀಕೃತ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಂತತ ಅಭಿಧ್ಯಾನ ತನೂಕೃತ ತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣೀಕೃತ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥರ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ತದ್ಭಾವಗತೇನ ತದ್ಭಾವಗತೇನ ಆಯಮ್ಯ ತದ್ಭಾವಗತೇನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಭಾವ ನಿಷ್ಠೇನ ತದ್ಭಾವ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಭಾವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಭಾವ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠ ಚೇತಸ ಚಿತ್ತೇನ ಆಯಮ್ಯ ಆಕೃಷ್ಯ ಆಕೃಷ್ಯ ವಾಟ್ ಸೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಶಿಖರ ಸೇಸ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿದ್ಯ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿದ್ಯ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಸೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಸ್ವಿಷಯೇಭ್ಯ ವಿನಿವರ್ತ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ತದೇವಾಕ್ಷರ ಸೌಮ್ಯ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿರ ಚಿತ್ತ ತದೇವ ಉಕ್ತ ಉಕ್ತ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಉಕ್ತ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಅಕ್ಷರಾತ್ಮಕ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಉಕ್ತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಉಕ್ತ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಮೀಸ್ ಉಕ್ತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ what is talked about uta brahmani chetaha samadatsva chetaha chitta chittam somya vidhi vidhi is pierced piercing focusing the intellect on the target which is brahma focusing the mind the antakaranam on this brahma uta brahmani chitta samadanam chetaha samadatsva he somya ಏ ಪ್ರಿಯ ದರ್ಶನ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ದಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಎನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿನ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ರ ದಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ಧನು ವಿಶ್ವಾಸನ ಧನು ವಿಶ್ವಾಸನ ಗೃಹೀತ್ವಾ ಆದಾಯ 
ओपनिषदम उपनिषत्सु भवम प्रसिद्धम आत्मतत्वप्रतिपत्ति उपायत्वेन उपनिषत्सु उपदिष्टम इति ओंकार अलोन तो आत्मतत्व प्रतिपत्ति उपायत्वेन as upaya as a means for the knowledge of the atma tattva upanishad so in the upanishad it is upadishtam it is taught what this om unkara eva that is that what it is prasiddh omitye kaksharam brahma it is there in the gita it in in the Which chapter? I don't remember. It is there in the Gita, and Mandukya Upanishad is about Omkara only, and in Kato Upanishad, Omitya that that is how Mother Maharaja he begins his teaching, and Chaitanya Upanishad, Omiti Brahma, Omiti Dabham Sarvam, Omiti Dadanatto Dehas Baba Apyo Shavaye. उपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनिषत्सुपनि
well prepared so that it can focus on the subject matter and understand gain the understanding clearly no vagueness no haziness that is sanskritam sandhita <coughs> ಅಂತಃಕರಣಯಾತ್ ವಿನಿವೃತ್ತ ಶಬ್ದಿ ಅರ್ಥು ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿಂತನೆಂದ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ದಿ ಅರ್ಥು ಶಬ್ದಸ್ಪರ್ಶಗಂಧ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತು ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ವಿಷಯ ವಿಷಯ ದೋಷ ಚಿಂತನೆಯ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ದೋಷ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವಿಷಯ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ದೋಷ it is atripti karatvam it is anityam it is atripti karatvam it is anityam and dukkha mishrutatva dukkha mishrutatva these are dosha atrivida dosha all the pleasures which are obtained through the sense interaction sense organ sense objects interaction they are subject to they are subject to these doshas the three vid atrivida dosha therefore tat chintanam chin thinking that vinivartya withdrawing withdrawing what lakshya eva lakshya eva avarjitam krutva ityartaha avarjitam krutva ityartaha avarjitam avarjitam means focusing directing like for in what lakshya in the lakshya in the target what is the lakshya here brahmani so brahmani eva aabarjanartham eva indriyadi nivartanam atu kevala pratyaharartham iti tika kala says brahmani eva in the brahma alone this aabarjanartham brahmani eva indriya indriyadi nivartanam the withdrawal of the indriya is for the purpose of focusing on the brahma directing the chitta on the brahma not just for the sake of pratyahara what is pratyahara pratyahara yama niyama pratyaha pranayama pratyahara dharana dhyana samadhi nashtam yoga pratyahara is it that means withdrawing the sense organ withdrawing the sense organ not just for the sake of withdrawing the sense organ it is for the purpose of focusing the mind directing the mind on the lakshya which is brahma so dhamma shama is not just for the sake of dhamma shama one benefit is withdrawing means you will not have problem you will not get into problem only when the, <coughs> the sense organs or the mind goes and interacts and in the process the avahara it is going to have better experience there is no doubt any vyavahara it will inevitably have fixed with some dukkham no vyavahara free from sukha doesn't mean should we give up vyavahara no we know and we cannot survive without interaction knowing that vyavahara is being done for the sake of survival for the sake of living any relation dukkham always is there not always sukha so the purpose of the shama and dhamma in this for this sadaka bhumukshu is to focus on the focus the mind on the the lakshya other than this unspiritual or material benefit is you will not get into problem that is one problem that is one benefit is but that is not the benefit we are talking about here withdrawing the sense organs is for the purpose of focusing the mind on the the target lakshya brahma otherwise we need not talk about shama dhamma indriya nivartanam we need not be talk about
सो दैर लक्ष्य आवृतम अक्षरे लक्ष्य भावना भाव अक्षर सौम्य विधि मंत्री अक्षर सौम्य विधि उपनिषदे Similarly, on the dano, you mount the shara, the arrow. That also not said what is arrow, and that arrow has to be sh- should have been sharpened by upasana. Then, drawing, hit the target. The target is that is given tarayva aksharam viti lakshyam. But what is that dano? What is that shara? Therefore. third mantra the third mantra drishtanta is mentioned drishtanta in the fourth mantra the following mantra dharshtanta is mentioned so therefore only the third and the fourth mantra are to be read together drishtanta tritiya mantra dharshtanta chaturtha mantra so yet it is said what is that danuhu प्रणवो धनुहु प्रणवो धनुहु धनुहु शरो ख्यात्मा शरो ख्यात्मा ब्रह्मतल्लक्ष्यमुच्यते ब्रह्मतल्लक्ष्यमुच्यते अप्रमत्तेन वेद्धव्यम् अप्रमत्तेन वेद्धव्यम् शरवत्तन्मयो भवेत मंत्र That is the bow. What was mentioned in the previous mantra is pranavaha. Pranavaha is the same. Omkara ha. Pranava is omkara. Pranavaha. And the arrow is sharaha is atma. Atma is jivatma. And the target is Brahma talakshamuchate. Brahma paramatma is the target. So, therefore, Omkara is the 
ತನುಹು ನಾವು ಓಂಕಾರ ಇತ ಧನುಹು ವಿಂದಿಸೆ ಓಂಕಾರ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ಉಪಾಸನ ಘಟೋಪನಿಷದ್ ಬಿ ಸಾ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಿಮದ್ರಮರಾಜ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ದೌಲ್ಡ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ಈ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ಉಪಾಸನ ಓಂಕಾರ ವಿಚಾರ ಓಂಕಾರ ಉಪಾಸನ ಇಸ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಓಂಕಾರ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೈನ್ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ಉಪಾಸನೆಯ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಿ ಅವು ಉಪಾಸನ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲೀಡ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಟು ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಅವು ಅವು ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ಕ್ರಮ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಶತಂ ಚೈಕಾರುದಯ ನಾಡ್ಯ ಟು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕಟೋಪೇಶ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಕಟೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಶತಂ ಚೈಕಾರುದಯ ನಾಡ್ಯ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ನಾಡೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ಸುಷುಮ್ ನಾಡಿ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿಚ್ ದಿ ಉಪಾಸಕ ಲೀವ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮರಂಧ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಲೋಕ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಕಲ್ಪ at the end of the kalpa along with brahma ji it becomes mukta that is krama mukti therefore omkara upasana ya mukti is krama mukti that is by going to brahma loka another mukti by omkara is by vichara omkara vicharena mukti that mukti is jeevan mukti otherwise called sadhyo mukti the mukti is iha eva atraya atra iha eva here and now atraya eva ida idani meva now it's us we don't have to postpone the mukti that is by vichara vicharena gyana gyana ena moksha sadhyo mukti iti so therefore ಔಪನಿಷ ಔಪನಿಷದ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸು ಭವ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಓಂಕಾರ ಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ದಸ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಸಾಧಕ ಟು ಡು ಓಂಕಾರ ಉಪಾಸನ ಆರ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ವಿಚಾರ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಡಸನ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸನ್ ಸೇ ಓಪನ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಸಿಟ್ಲಿ ಇಯರ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ಇಸ್ ಉಪಾಸನ ಓಂಕಾರ ವಿಚಾರ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಕಾಮೆಂಟೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಟೀಕಾಕಾರ ಆನಂದಗಿರಿ ಟೀಕಾ ಫಾರ್ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಟೀಕಾ ಆನಂದಗಿರಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಟೀಕಾ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ಆನಂದಗಿರಿ ಟೀಕಾ ಇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯಾರ್ ಡೌಟ್ ವಿತ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ ವಿತ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ದ ಟೀಕಾ ಟೀಕಾಕಾರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಉಪಾಸನ ಟು ಬಿ the it takes the omkara to be the omkara upasana omkara upasana but there is one tika kara that uh, that tika kara sachidananda indra saraswati that that was in the uh, swami who lived recently he also written the, the footnotes for this that he has mentioned this omkara here it is not omkara upasana it is omkara vichara and he gives a reason atra vichara asamarthasya pranamam alam avalambya brahmaikatve chitta samadhanam krama mukti palam krama mukti palam upadishtam iti vyakhya karaha tad ಅಸತ್ ಪರವಿದ್ಯ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಅತ್ರ ವಿಚಾರ ಅಸಮರ್ಥಸ್ಯ ಪ್ರಣವಂ ಅವಲಂಬ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈಕತ್ವೆ ಚಿತ್ತ ಸಮಾಧಾನ ಕರ್ಮ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಫಲಂ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾಕಾರ ವಾಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾಕಾರ ಇಸ್ ಟೀಕಾಕಾರ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಟೀಕಾಕಾರ ಪ್ರಣವಂ ಅವಲಂಬ್ಯ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ರೆಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಟು having taken the support of pranava omkara 
and and that um, and that brahmai kattva chitta samadhanam is for the result of krama mukti krama mukti upadishtam krama mukti is what taught here iti vyakya kara says what he says is tat asat it is not correct tika kara says it is not correct he dismisses what the commentator says why he dismisses because paravidya adhikarat here the topic is para, para, paravidya ve vidye veditavye paracha aparacha iti aparavidya has been talked about aparavidya talked about where aparavidya that is karma upasana that we have seen in the second section of the prathama mundaka prathama mundakasya dvitiya kandaha tatra prathama mantram arubhya ekadasha mantra paryantam tad etat satyam evam mantreshu tad in this upanishad itself the tad etat satyam mantreshu kavyah that the the we saw that it started with uh, the the mantra tad etat satyam mantreshu kavyah that mantra this is mantreshu karmani kavayo yanya pashyan tani tetayam bhuda santatani tam yacharata niyatam satyaka vaha yeshav pantas krutasya loke it is starting from that mantra up to the 11th mantra up to the 11th mantra that is one mantra before pariksha loka pariksha loka on onwards para vidya starts and in the 11th mantra tapashchadehe upavasantyaranye shanta vidvam saha bhikshitavyam sarantaha surya dware nai devraja prayanti महावाक्य when it is talked about and suddenly from where it comes upasana so therefore we cannot take this to be the upasana taking this to be upasana is not correct because we have to take the meaning of the word in keeping with the context here the context is vichara it is context is gnana context being gnana how can we take Omkara to be upasana. It is vichara. So therefore, omkara vichara. The inquiry of omkara, which is nothing but atma vichara, brahma vichara, that is jnana vichara. Inquiry into the omkara by which the person gains brahma. So since that is paravidya, since that is a topic, therefore we have to take here it as Omkara, vichara only, not as upasana. Therefore, therefore it is omkara, vichara. Many, even though many the the tika kara commentators they talk about this omkara upasana here, but it is not correct to take it as omkara upasana. We can take that to be the take that to be the vichara even another commentator he says pranavam avalambya brahmaikatve chitta samadanam krama bhukti valam darshagitum vidhi iti uktam eva spashtayati iti iti mani prabha and tika is there are different tikas he also gives an introduction to the mantra krama mukti palam so we need not take it as krama mukti palam This is sadhya mukti. Therefore, vichara, omkara vichara, is the right meaning you can take here. 
and also another reason also can be given see that in the previous shloka sharam upasanaya upasa nishitam is that sharam upasa nisham sharam is atma sharam is atma jeevatma which is sharpened how can jeevatma be sharpened jeevatma be sharpened means it is the antakaranam of the jeevatma mind of jeevatma it is jeevatma what is loaded into the dhanuhu that is punkara jeevatma is loaded means the antakaranam of the jeevatma the mind of the jeevatma not literally jeevatma the sharam is referring to jeevatma jeevatma means antakaranam of the jeevatma and that antakaranam has to be upasanaya nishitam tikshnikritam sharpened so upasanaya nishitam sharpened by upasana sharpened by upasana that is sharpened the the antakarnam with upasana means chitta naischalyam chitta naischalyam which is gained by upasana that jivatma enjoying such chittam that jivatma so it means upasana is the, the person has done upasana and gained chitta naischalyam therefore nishitam already tikshnikritam samskritam he has got sufficient focus he has gained the mastery of focusing concentration therefore it upasana palam is enjoying is therefore again asking to upasana is is it's not proper it is that cannot be the meaning the person he has become adhikari because of upasana karma yoga na chitta shuddhi ki upasanaya chitta naischalyam so chitta naischalyam the tikshni kritam already gained by upasana therefore only is adhikari so adhikari for vichara so now he has got adhikaritvam because he has done homak upasana he has done therefore his mind is sharp like the sharp of the hero tikshni kritam therefore therefore also we can say here the vichara here it omkara is vichara not upasana if it is upasana then tikshni kritam need not be given why tikshni kritam given because tikshni kritam that tikshna that tanu kritam is the result of upasana so therefore also we can take here the omkara meaning omkara vichara not upasana and omkara otherwise called pranavaha pranavaha omkara both mean same prakarshena nuyate stuyate atma vasv ishta devata anena iti pranavah vidpati of the word pranava pra purvaka nudatu prakarshena nuyate stuyate ishta devata va atma va anena iti pranavah that is pranava as a word so is a word by which ishvara is ishta devata is nuyate stuyate ishta devata or atma is praised ishta devata or ishta devata which is atma that also can be taken like atmanam abhishtaye iti vedanta sara is is so that pranava that by which omkara the pranava is that the omkara is that by which the atma or one ishta devata is nuyate stuyate glorified therefore that is that is pranava that is omkara by omkara paramatma is stuyate glorified means it is known as a means upaya and the pranava is one name omkara is another name even though it is vedanta class i tell you how the word pranava the word come i mean the omkara the word come. pranava i told prakashena stuyate nuyate stuyate nuyate atma is devata va anena iti pranava omkara now taking omkara how the word omkara is derived omkara is derived from the dhatu 
अवदातु अवती रक्षति इति ओंकार अवदातु विच इज इन दी फस्ट गण दुआदि गण एंड दातु हेज गॉट मेनी मीनि दातु इन दातु पाट इफ यू सी this dhatu has got many meaning one meaning is rakshana that is how the dhat which starts rakshati rakshati that's why i said avati rakshati iti let's see av avadatu vadigara dhatu rakshana gati kanti preeti trupti avagama pravesha shavana swamyartha yachana triye chadi ya ba लिंग लिंगन हिंसा हिंसाधन बाग वृद्धिषु सो मेनी मीनिंग्स आर दैट इट्स अ लॉन्ग वन सो वी आर इंटरेस्टेड ओनली इन दिस मीनिंग रक्षण प्रोडक्शन अवति रक्षति इति ओम अवति रक्षति हाउ इज द वर्ड ओंकारा इज डिराइव्ड दिस आई टॉट दिस ओंकारा डेरिवेशन इन द ग्रामर क्लास इन द गुरु क्लब सो even i did i can say this in your sanskritam class but others will not have the opportunity to know that's why now i'm saying avati from the avadatu it is derived right by adding manin pratyaya manin is a unadi pratyaya not in ashtadhyayi it is unadi pratyaya manin manin nakara is it letter e also it letter content is only man content is man and there is a now you see man pratyaya beginning with makara anuswara makara is an, is makara anunasika anunasika follows not anuswara anunasika when anunasika follows by the unadi sutra avatehe shti lopascha iti sutram is by that sutram only manin pratyaya is ordained for the avadatu and the t letter manin letter removing after remove, removing the iterator you have man and man also you have to remove the the t letter what is t achuntya the t we know so akara as well as preceding a uh, an an is removed an is removed from man therefore you will have makara only makara will be there then what happens makara is there so here make it as it is how oh. Parishit class has become a Sanskritam class, but anyway, this those since those who are not there in the Ashtadhyayi uh, uh, class, so they also can know that side. So now, oh, then by the the sutram, jara thara thrivya vibhava uh, vima vam vam upadaya ascha by that sutra, what happens is the the makara of the dhatu as well as upada both are replaced by u. That's a rule by the six four twenty. We will see in detail later. But I know this. The first step is one in pratyaya, one one other pratyaya is added. After removing the eighth letter, you have man, and man also t lo paha, the t letter which is an that is removed. Therefore, you have makara. When makara being anunasika, when anunasika follows, that angasya makara sya tata upada ya ha pi ukara ha that u not ukara it is ut adesha. In fact, ut. Ut is the adesha comes, then u plus u will become dirga sandhi. U then then the pratyaya follows. What will happen? Guna will happen. U will become o. Therefore, o iti onkara is derived from the avadatu by adding the guna the pratyaya. This is all. That's why we say avati rakshati iti o. That which protects is called o. Who protects? ईश्वर ब्रह्म ब्रह्म रक्षति ओंकार सो दिसंग वी गिव अवती रक्षति ईश्वर ओंकार सो ओंकार आर् प्रणव प्रणव इज प्रकर्षेन स्तूयते नूयते सो दट ओंकार एंड दट ओंकार अकार मेड ऑफ थ्री सिलेबल अकार उकार मकार a u ma akara stands for akara stands for 
this samashti stola prapancha ukara stands for samashti sukshma prapancha and nakara stands for karana prapancha we can take it as at the samashti level or at the gashti level also we can take so therefore samashti prapancha is resolved in the sukshma prapancha sukshma prapancha is resolved into karana prapancha and finally when you do the further inquiry the karana prapancha also resolved into that that is brahma so by vichara we can arrive at brahma this is one way of omkara vichara andukya upanishad another one way of taking is <coughs> we can take akara to be jagrat avastha ukara to be swapna avastha makara to be sushipti avastha so in all the avastha the person is the one who is a dreamer one who is a waker and one who is a sleeper that person who is there in all the states so by doing viveka that person that is brahma that is in this mandukya upanishad the same thing is said akara is it is presented as quarters prathama pada dvitiya pada tritiya pada akara is prathama pada first quarter which represents vishva that is samashti samashti prapancha samashti stula prapancha abhimani atma that is called vishva that's called virat virat that is called virat samash samashti gashti stola sharira abhimani is vishva so therefore akara that is the first quarter can refer to virat at the total vishva at the individual level so samashti drishtya virat gashti drishtya it is vishva vishva is that is yashti that is that is yashti sharira abhimani atma individual samashti stola prapancha abhimani atma is virat this virat the prapancha is virat so yashti stola sharira abhimani atma is vishva what is the total that virat is given the name vishva so therefore i came at the level of the, the stola i came at the level of stola stola prapancha i i came at the level of stola that is between virat and vishva similarly ukara which is the dvitiya pada second quarter which represents at the vishti level taijasa at the samashti level hiranyagarbha hiranyagarbha is the name for samashti sukshma sharira abhimani atma hiranyagarbha otherwise called sutratma and yashti sukshma sharira abhimani atma is called taijasa that's what we translate as he is called the one who is dreamer vishwa is waker and uh, taijasa is dreamer and makara the last part is tritiya pada which represents samashti karana sharira abhimani atma which is ishvara that is for a technical term at the total level yashti karana sharira abhimani atma pragnya iti so at the samashti level it is virat hiranyagarbha ishvara at the yashti level it is vishva tejasa pragnya so pratama pada dvitiya pada tritiya pada three quarters each quarter from this stola the stola is resolved into sukshma sukshma is resolved into karana and karana is resolved into as though into the fourth pada really there is no fourth pada but since these are given padas therefore we say turiya pada chaturtha pada chaturtha pada in fact it is the adhisthanam of all the pada that is turiyam we say turiya resolving and that the resolution is pashakara will refer in this mantra in this mantra 
he says it as abhyas abhyasya manaha pranavaha iti we will see that in this mantra he will mention abhyasya manaha pranavaha iti so therefore this is this is how the omkara vichara is done in mandukya upanishad turiya pada turiyam chaturtha padaha turiyam iti manyate turiyam is there is no fourth pada only three padas are there three states of existence the fourth one is when you say om a u ma after om there is a silence that is turiyam aka that omkara is resolved into the silence that is it becomes unmanifest and from the unmanifest again omkara comes om silence om silence there is a pause so omkara which is vyakta goes into avyakta again becomes vyakta goes into vyakta i mean becomes vyakta again goes into avyakta so avyakta vyakta avyakta vyakta iti even when you do japa the silent the silence the sound becomes merged into silence and from the silence again it becomes vyakta avyakta adi bhutani vyakta mat gita also we saw avyakta adi bhutani vyakta mat dhyani bharata avyakta nidhanane eva tatra ka paridevana so avyaktam vyaktam avyaktam vyaktam finally resolved into what that is called is turiyam in mandukya upanishad therefore that is called chaturtha pada chaturtha pada eva fourth quarter that's not a separate quarter it is a quarter that which sustains all the quarters so that is this is a vichara is done omkara vichara is done as it is said in mandukya upanishad that is for which the means is shavana manana vidyasana iti and that is what here vichara that is what the vichara here it is not the just the upasana so here we have to take it as to be the vichara only not as the upasana because omkara vicharena jnana prapti paravidya therefore paravidya vigaratva vichara and here it says pranavaha dhanuhu that is danuhu the bow here is pranava the arrow sharaha atma sharaha the arrow is atma what what atma jivatma and jivatma also we can take it as the antakaranam that's why upasana and ishitam is given brahma tat laksham uchyate brahma tat laksham totally brahma is the laksham totally by that sandhi tat laksham tal laksham ब्रह्म तत् लक्ष्य मुच्यते अप्रमत्न वेद्यम अप्रमत्ता अप्रमत्ता इज प्रमत्ता मीन नेग्लीजेंस प्रमाद नेग्लीजेंस अप्रमत्न विदउट बीइंग नेग्लीजेंट कर्तव्य निवृत्ति अकर्तव्य प्रवृत्ति दट इज कॉल प्रमाद नॉट तमिल प्रमाद प्रमाद मीन नेग्लीजेंस कर्तव्य निवृत्ति व्हाट इज टू बी डन दट वन डजंट डू what should not be done that one does that is pramada that is negligence so therefore without being negligent vedhavyam should be hit should be known and that become sharabat tanmayo bhavet like the arrow that becomes tanmayah tatmayah tanmayah that becomes one as the arrow becomes one with the target similarly sharabat tanmayo bhavet brahmamaya brahmamayo bhavet brahmamaya means aikyam bhavet that is what it is siddha vishaya already prapta vishaya jnanena tanmayo bhavet therefore vicharena omkara vicharena tanmayo bhavet ityartaha that is the bhavet bhavet iti linglakara may you become one with paramatma may you know that you are one with paramatma that is the right translation may you become one with means becoming there is no becoming no action is involved only knowing therefore upasana also is not there therefore sharvat tanmayo bhavet means may you know that you are one with the target which is brahma iti bhavet so therefore athato brahma jignasa kartavya ityartaha ब्रह्म जिज्ञासा ब्रह्म 
enquiry brahma here it is omkara the jignasa the enquiry into the brahma should be done iti jnana vichara shavanam mananam vidyasanam kartavya vidyasanaha vidyasanani sadhanani kartavyani iti by which jivatma bestows himself to be one with paramatma okay now ability bashyam pranavaha omkaraha pranavaha omkaraha pranavaha is equal to omkaraha dhanuhu dhanuhu yata ishvasanam yata ishvasanam lakshye lakshye sharasya pravesha karanam अक्षरे प्रणवल टू ओंकार so you know what is pranava and yet pranava that is nuda to become that dante nakara becoming mudan nakara that also happens prakrashena stuyate stuyate nuyate so pranava which is equal to omkara avati rakshati ti om so therefore it is shabda pratika sound symbol yav pratika pratika is symbol शब्द प्रतीका प्रतीका कैन बी प्रतिमा और प्रतीका प्रतिमा मीन्स मूर्ति फॉर्म फिजिकल फॉर्म दट इज अवेलेबल फॉर यूर चक्षुरार इंद्रिया अरे शब्द प्रतीका ओनली फॉर श्रोत्र इंद्रिया साउंड सिंबल शब्द शब्द मीनिंग इज श्रोत्र श्रोत्र इंद्रिया श्रोत्र इंद्रिया ग्रहण नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर यूर आईज सो दट इज बिकमिंग सटल डूइंग उपासना मेडिटेशन first you do meditation on the physical form then slowly the mind is tuned to meditate on that which is further with the subtle shabda that is shabda pratika but here we are anyway here we are talk this is upasana but here we are talking about vichara that we have to remember so as upasana i am saying it is shabda pratika in fact it is shabda pratika the sound symbol can be for upasana can be for vichara also upasakas they do meditation on the sound symbol and gnani is they do vichara of the sound symbol om vichara so omkara here it is compared to the the both the dhanuhu which is ishvasanam ishoho asanam seat of the ishu so therefore here there is a upama the comparison is then comparison between the pranava and the the omkara upamana upe upameya what is compared is upameya and the thing which is used to compare is upamana here what is upamana upamana is bo danuhu upameya is pranava so pranava upameya danuhu upamana when there is a upamana upameya sambandha it means that must be some similarity without similarity how can we have upamana upameya sambandha danuhu the bho is a seat of issue arrow so the bho which connects the arrow and the target bow that's why i said bow is stationary and arrow only moves because it moves therefore only i take that to be astram mahastram the previous mantra through the astram through the arrow the target is connected by the target is connected by the bow so bow is the one which connects the the target and the arrow the arrow travels not the bow bow is stationary so this is upamana similarly upameya is pranava is the means by which 
Jivatma is connected with the Paramatma. Therefore, Omkara is called Omkara, the connector, the is called compared to Bo. Yatha, that is why Yatha. Yatha tells you that it is Upamana Upameya Sambandha. So much meaning is in the word Yatha. Just simply Yatha is said. Yatha tells you that it is the Bo, that is Danuhu and Pranava as a Sambandha. What Sambandha? Upamana Upameya Sambandha. So Yatha Vishwasanam Lakshya and the Brahma in the target. Sharasya Pravesha Karnam Bhavati, Sharasya Pravesha Karnam, entry into the Lakshya, the target, which is the Karanam, which becomes the Karanam for the entry of the arrow into the target bow. Similarly, Tatha, in the same way, Atma Sharasya Akshare Lakshya Pravesha Karnam Omkara, similarly, Atma Sharasya Jivatma, which is a Shara, Antakarnam of the Jivatma, which is a Shara, the entry of or hitting, entry or hitting, hitting the, the target. The target is Akshara Brahma, Akshare Lakshya, which is a target. Pravesha Karnam, entry into the year, entry means not physical entry. Vicharena entry. Vicharena Pravesha. Pravesha is knowing. Here, Pravesha Karnam, there is no physical entry. Entry into the, the target, which is Brahma, that is for, for what? For the Atma Sharaha. Atma Sharaha is the Jivatma, which is the Sharaha. For that, what is the Karana? Omkara is the Karana. Therefore, Omkara is compared to Bo. As Bo is a Karana for connecting the arrow and the target, Similarly, Omkara is a Karanam for connecting the Jivatma with the Paramatma. Therefore, Omkara, Pranavaha, Dhanuhu, Iti Uchyate. Therefore, Pravesha Karanam Bhavati. This is, this is the, by Samanya Dharma, by the, that's the similarity of Samanya Dharma between Drishtanta and Dashtanta. Therefore, Omkara is com compared to Pranava. This is only Drishtanta. As we saw in the last class, Drishtanta has its limitation. Arrow has to travel space. In, in space, it has to travel, cover space, enter. But here, Jivatma doesn't have to travel because already it is Siddha Vishaya, Prapta Vishaya. Therefore, it is Prapta Vishaya, Jnana Meva. Sadhanam Bhavati, therefore Jnana Sadhanam Iti. Next time we will continue. We will continue the next class. Om Purnamadaf Purnamidham Purnad Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadhaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shantashantashantihi Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Sanyo Vada Sanyo Vada Sanyo Vada Guruji Ji, the Omkara derivation I have doubt that A and Akara and Vakara are both are replaced by Ukara or Vukara Ukara, Ut Adesha Keti edati utsu, we have seen the one from back. Keti edati utsu. That wood we have not uh, seen much example. Wood, vaha wood. I think vaha wood we have seen. Ashtadhyay class we have seen. Vaha wood. Ashwam, bhavati, ashwa vaha, and all we have seen. The derivation. Wood. There is something called wood. Okay, wood adesha. Takara, murd, uh, murdhanya takara, mahaprana, wood. So, Vakara as well as Upada, both are replaced by Ut. Ut means Ukara, you can take. So, both are replaced. Then after that, Savana Girgasandhi, U plus U becomes U. Mm -hmm. Then we know, when a Saradhata Gardhata Pratya follows, Angasya, Gunaha Deshma Bhavati, mm -hmm. therefore O, therefore O. And if we keep Akara as it is, Akara plus Ukara can't be right. Use Gunade. 
Vikara plus Uta Desha by 80 and 80 Uta, so it will become Vriddhi. Oh! Oh! Eti edati utsu, please see the sandhi, basic sandhi, the vridhi sandhi. In gatau, that eti or edhridatu, and when uka, that there it becomes vridhi. That's what it becomes out. That's why. Okay, then. So you have some doubts in Sanskritam only, huh? Yeah, yeah. Upanishad is clear then. Yeah, that's simple. Thank you, Dhaniwada. Thank you. Thank you.